Hello and welcome to the second episode of Across the Pond, our little podcast about a prisoner who is sitting in United States, Indiana State Prison, Ronald Sanford, aka Ariel. And as I already mentioned in the first episode, I will now continue to read the conversation which has unfolded between Ronald Ariel and me, which I have sent via the Connect Network quasi email system from June 8th, 2021. Dear Ron, I hope it is okay with you that I'm addressing you by your first name. You are also very welcome to call me Constantine. I was very happy to receive your letter. You write about the abundance of pain and hurt that you feel inside you. I can only try to imagine what this life fate means for you. My idea is, on the one hand, to learn something from you and to learn how you cope with difficult circumstances in your life. On the other hand, I want to help you to expand your life and your world a little bit. Because you have already said that very beautifully in the short film clip. The world of spirit and the consciousness is boundless. There is only little space to write here. I am sure we will explore on this subject later. And at the same time, I hope that our exchange will inspire other people who are in difficult situations. The best thing to do is to tell each other a little bit about our circumstances first. I would be interested to know what your everyday life is like, so I can get a little idea. From the film I got the impression you are in your cell 23 hours a day and outside in this bare solitary playground for one hour a day. Do you ever get to other places? Bathroom, dining room or PC room? I will also send you a letter by snail mail with some pictures so that you can imagine my life a little better. I live in a very nice part of Germany in the south. We call it Bavaria. There is a very big festival there once a year, the Oktoberfest. Nearby there is a beautiful lake and mountains. I'm the youngest of nine siblings. I myself have two stepsons and a daughter. The boys are 20 and 18 and the girl will soon be 11. Feel free to ask me any question about my country or my life or my job. Gladly also about philosophy. I saw you are reading in books about metaphysics. Do you want to tell me something about your signature in your letter? Ron, a.k.a. Ariel, what is behind? So this was my letter to Ronald and I got an answer where I was not very 100% sure whether he got my first letter, but I will read you the first answer of him. Ronald answered me on June 11, 2020, one with the following. Dr. Schimmert, I have received your contact and I'm thankful you reached out to me in this manner. Obviously, this will be much faster than the snail mail. Although I'm uber conscious about being read by others, I figure if something really needs to be said and I don't want it in the cloud for perpetuity, I'll script it to you. We are suffer through a lockdown still and have just been set upon the entire week. So our communication, both phone and messaging, were cut off. I have the weekend to send things out, and then it will be probably resume at the beginning of the week, if the process is continued with other indifferent location in the plantation. Nevertheless, 
We are now connected in this fashion, so I look forward to hearing from more. You, Ronald, a.k.a. Ariel.